Porter. You guys, look how big he has gotten. I feel like his face is changing again and he is looking so chunky. That's a good smile. He's smiling. His coos are getting louder and longer. Yeah. What do you think? I love this little outfit for him. I feel like it makes him look so grown up. He is still in zero to three month clothes, but like some of the onesies he's totally growing out of and he's going to have to move to like three to six month clothes soon, which is crazy because he just turned two months. Yeah, you went to bed? He is still sleeping through the night consistently. Yesterday he did get up at five, but it is because... So this is our bassinet. It's the Halo Bassinest, I guess. I always call it the bassinet, whatever. And Porter sleeps in this at night, and it's really nice because, like, this um, ledge goes down so you can, like, get him easier and all that stuff. So um, Porter sleeps in this, and I lay him to where, like, his head is on this end and his feet are on this end. But he likes to move, move, move so that he ends up like in this little curve area. And so his head is like up here and his feet are like down here and he's like curved. It's very strange. And so he's getting a little too big for it. And then so at 5 a.m. yesterday he was like crying because he was like stuck and couldn't stretch out. You couldn't stretch out your little body, huh? <laughs> So today's a big day for multiple different reasons. We are taking Porter to the doctor for his two month checkup. We're gonna see how big he is, how much he weighs, how tall he is, get an update on his head, what the doctor thinks. I do think his skull is looking better. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but I feel like it doesn't look as lopsided. He definitely does favor this side of his head. He's always wanting to lay on that side, sleep on that side. But I do feel like it is getting better. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a checkup on that. Also, as long as everything goes well tomorrow, this is Grayson's last day sleeping in a crib. So Anthony has the day off tomorrow, and so we're going to tackle it. We're going to move his crib into the nursery. We're going to move... Hang on. Let's see what Grayson is up to. What are you doing? Here is Grayson in our bathroom. He's got a Santa hat on. He's got one of Anthony's pencils. Grayson, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. He's drawing on the shower floor. That's yuck. And it's wet. You're okay. Okay, no more coloring with the pencil, okay? I'm gonna hold you. He's been wanting me to hold him a lot lately because he gets jealous when I'm holding Porter. Okay. So like I was saying before, this is probably Grayson's last day in the crib. Are you gonna get a big boy bed? Are you gonna get a big boy bed? I've been telling Hi, him. Hi, Porter. And we're back to Porter. Sorry, I'm so <laughs> scatterbrained and all over the place right now. Here, sit on, sit on the bed next to Porter. Can you sit? Porter loves looking at Grayson. He thinks Grayson is so cool. But anyway, sorry, I'm like being all over the place. This is potentially Grayson's last day in the crib as long as everything goes well. Anthony is going to move the crib into the nursery and put Grayson's big boy bed together. I think we're also going to move the rocking chair over into the nursery too because Grayson really doesn't need it anymore. We've really just been using it as a spot to sit to read books. But once we have his bed, I'll just sit on his bed and read books with him. So that's our plan for tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I have this clock for Grayson. I'll show you guys. So here's the clock. I got it off of Amazon and basically it tells the time. It's kind of hard to see. And then it's got this little white ball and you can set alarms on it. And so basically when the alarm is set, the ball is red, meaning it's nighttime, it's nap time, it's time to go to sleep, don't get up. And then once it hits the time that you set it for, time it's time to wake up, it'll turn green. 
And so I'm hoping this red and green thing will help Grayson learn to like stay in his room and not come out until the ball turns green. I'm not quite sure if he's really gonna get that concept, but I hope it will. I'm hoping it will help him. I've heard lots of good things about having a clock like this. There's several of them on Amazon. This one just got the best review, so I thought I would try it. If that doesn't work and he keeps coming out of his room, we might just like change the door um, handle around and so that we can look it from the outside. Um, just because I hope he still naps. They say a lot of times once you take the crib away, they stop <laughs> napping. And so I really hope that's not the case because I really like him to have naps. And even if he doesn't want to nap anymore, I still think he should have some quiet time. And then of course at night, I don't want him coming out at all or coming up early in the morning and waking me up because I'm already, you know, tired from taking care of two boys all the time. So we will see how that goes, but yes, that is the plan for tomorrow, is to um, change the big boy bed in the crib. I will definitely vlog it for you guys. Hopefully, it's not too frustrating. Um, hopefully, Anthony can do it. I'm sure he's going to want my help as well, but that is our big plan for tomorrow, and today we will um, see about the doctor. I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. We're back in the same room. <laughs> Got the plane, the map. Gray loved playing with this when we came one time. And he liked the clock and the airplane. Just waiting on the doctor. So we're back from the pediatrician. Gray's reading his Highlights magazine. He gets one of these a month. It's on my hair. Where is it? Can you find it? He loves the Find the Object um, pages. Oh. Here's a little yeah. porter. He's just sitting on my lap. His appointment went well. He had to get two shots and he drank like a liquid of one of them. He puked the, up the liquid and the two shots he cried. He was very mad about it, but he's fine now. Um, he bled pretty good with the one shot, um, but he's good now. He's fine. Um, his, the doctor said his head is looking much better, so I'm feeling good about that. And we weighed him. He is 13 pounds and 6 ounces, so he's in like the 71st percentile for weight. And for height, he is 23 inches and a quarter, which is in the 76th percentile. So I don't know where my kids are getting these height jeans from because Anthony and I are short. I'm 5'5 five five and Anthony is 5'8", I think. And so we're short people, but Gray is in like the 76th percentile and so is Porter. I don't know. These guys are going to be towering over me in no time and I'm just going to be like looking up at them all the time, but... It was good. My mom was able to watch Grayson for me while I went, so I didn't have to take him and all the craziness because he's a lot to handle. Um, but yeah, Porter is doing well. Um, they said he might be extra fussy or extra sleepy today and tomorrow. So he's just been kind of chilling, not really doing much. So we're just hanging out. I'm about to make dinner, so it'll be ready for when Anthony comes home from work. We had a little bit of a COVID scare with Anthony. He has been going to work in Indiana every weekend um, for work, and they've been having a lot of outbreaks um, there. And on Monday this week, today is Wednesday, on Monday, Anthony called me in a panic because he wasn't feeling well and he thought he might have had COVID. So he went and, took, and got a COVID test and he got his results back yesterday. So 24 hours, that was actually pretty good. And they were negative and he immediately like felt so much better, but it was a little stressful because he had a wet mask he couldn't go into work he had a quarantine it was just a lot so thankfully he is doing well no COVID for him um we have yet to get COVID I have not and he has not I mean that we know of um so anyway everything is going well here I'm happy that we got the pediatrician out of the way um I took a video of the room I swear we get the same room every time. When I took Gray for his two-year doctor appointment, we were in that room, and every time with Porter, we've been in that room too. So um, it's cute. Um, they've got little stuff to play with. They used to have books in those shelves, those blank shelves, but they took all the books away because of COVID, which is really sad. But I mean, Porter doesn't care. He's not going to read books, but Gray was sad when he went. But anyway, 
It all went good. Doctor said he's looking awesome and we don't have to go back until four months um, in January. So we get a little break from the doctor and we're just watching Baby Bum. There it is right there. I'm honestly surprised Gray still likes the show, but he does. So that's what we're doing. It's a little chaotic here. I always feel great in the beginning of the day, like I have a whole bunch of things. And then by the end of the day, I stress out. Like I have to do dinner and usually to do dinner, I have to put Porter down because I need both my hands. And then Porter starts crying and freaking out. And then Gray starts crying and freaking out. And then Gray makes a mess in the living room. So then I like the living room's a mess, but I don't have time to clean it up because I'm making dinner. And then I'm stressing because I'm trying to get Porter one last nap in before seven o'clock. So we have to keep him up from seven to nine. So it just gets really stressful in the evenings, but hopefully I survived today.